Yo, what's up, guys? This is Aptex here, back again after a long time. Today, I'll be showing you guys the best settings for Skyland Nintendo Switch Emulator Android device. And as you can see right here, my games are loaded. Now, if we just go ahead and open settings, if we scroll down to the display section, you will see the executor slot count and also texture readback hack, which are the new settings added in Skyline. Let's start with the best settings to play games like Pokemon Sword, alright? Uh, now if you have an Android device with Snapdragon 888 processor or below, then what you can do is go to the Skyline Emulator Discord server and get the turnip drivers. But sadly my device has Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 so I'll have to use the version 615 Vulkan drivers. Uh, these are good for Adreno 7XX which means that Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 or above series. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and enable this Vulkan driver. You can use the turnip driver if you have Snapdragon 888 or lower. But it won't work on my device. If I try using turnip, it will just crash. So I won't be using that. Now if we scroll down, you can enable dock mode if you want to get crisp textures. Like with dock mode enabled, the game will look crispier and high resolution. If you disable dock mode and try playing Pokemon Sword, uh, then the graphics will look little jittery, which is not cool. So I'll show you how to import the save file as well later. But I have enabled dock mode. Here are further settings which you have to enable. Post triple buffering. And you can enable disable frame throttling option if you have a high-end device and if you want to test out games and see if they go above 30 fps, alright. Aspect ratio, select it to device aspect ratio. And I'm thinking that uh, this brand new update of Skyline Emulator should have Mali GPU fix. That's for you guys to find out with Mali GPUs. Uh, test out this update and comment down below. Now for executor slot count, I like to keep it at 12. I have an 8GB RAM device. You can read the description, it says maximum number of simultaneous GPU execution, higher may sometimes perform better. You can also enable texture readback hack, it will break some games but others will have high performance. Now with these settings turned on, we are all set. So these are the best settings of Skyline Emulator. But with that being done, now let me go ahead and uh, add a save file to my Skyline Emulator. Now this is the save file of Pokemon Sword, I'll just go ahead and extract it right here. Uh, this is the folder which we have to go ahead and copy. Go up to Android Data, scroll down to the Skyline Emulator folder, go to Files and if you don't see the Switch folder then what you have to do is just go ahead and reopen Skyline Emulator, just run any kind of game in it. Afterwards close Skyline Emulator, uh, refresh and as you can see the Switch folder is here. Then go to NAND, User, Save, go to this folder, this folder and paste your save data right here. As you will be able to see the main save file of Pokemon Sword has been added now. Now let's just go ahead and open Skyline and let me just go ahead and enable the show performance statistics option so you guys will be able to check out the FPS that I am getting. By the way device aspect ratio it will be better if you select stretch to fit because it looks way immersive that way while playing games like this and you will be able to notice that we are getting about 50 FPS but it's just a cutscene we will get less FPS as soon as the game starts. So here we go, as you can see right here, 72 FPS inside game in Pokemon Sword. Now let me just go ahead and go outside and I'll show you guys how much FPS can we get if we are in an busy environment. This is still a house, you'll see some frame drops. And you'll be able to notice the FPS drop is crazy. We literally uh, went from uh, 70 FPS down to 40 fps you'll notice that the fps is increasing gradually at the beginning you'll get less fps but as soon as it compiles some shader the fps will improve as you saw there was a jitter in this place but now that shaders are loaded it's not jittering anymore so we'll just go ahead and click on x we'll travel to something here we go guys this is an open area where the game should lag uh, probably but again you'll notice that i'm getting about 30 fps now the performance in skyline emulator is limited chances of getting good FPS in low-end devices is greater. So you can test it out and let me know how much FPS did you get while trying to play Pokemon Sword on the brand new update of Skyline Emulator. And you'll notice that there are no uh, graphical glitches. Just take a look at this, it's not shiny. If you have any comments regarding this video, then comment down below. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, make sure like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. See you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.